Hey, today um, what Jason and I are going to do is we're going to explore Zwift's new map. It is going to be Lake Top de Tour Stage 1, um, and which is basically the Tour de France route. Um, it, it's an awesome opportunity for us to be able to do this because one, uh, we won't even ever get a chance to to ride a route in, in France, the same route that they would do in uh, the Tour de France, and two, Obviously, as you guys know, Jason was injured a couple of days ago, and because of that, his shoulder, um, he cannot ride outdoors. So, uh, unfortunately, due to that, um, we will not be able to do any rides outdoors together for a while until he does gets the surgery and recovers from that. And so, in the meantime, what we're going to do together is we're going to ride this new map on Zwift. And so if you guys have never heard of this before, I think for most of you who are on Zwift, you've heard of this new map. But um, if you have never heard of it before, it's pretty much going to be, it's going to replicate the route that they ride on, the pros ride on in Tour de France. And so there's three new maps for that. And there are going to be different stages. So stage one is today. And that means it's a little bit more, um, they said it's a little bit more, um, kind of an easy ride, kind of kind of look around and enjoy the um, the different route. And uh, stage two, as the stage keeps um, increasing, it does become more and more challenging and more competitive. For me, I have done a couple of other events uh, before on Zwift. Um, actually, shortly after our uh, Grand Fondo plan and our Grand Fondo ride, I started doing kind of a group ride on Zwift. Um, the first one is Herd kibitz uh chinwag it's kind of for beginners who want to get into zwift and it kind of teaches you uh, the leader of the group kind of teaches you what, how or when to to do sprints and what kind of power-ups there are there are available and what those power-ups do so that's a great for those of you who've never uh ridden in a group or kind of wanted to do a race but you don't really know what these power-ups actually do um that is a great ride to try and so i've been doing that and i've also been doing the british triathlon group um, which is kind of a one to five watts per kilo so uh, again it's everybody's invited and you can ride with a group and i've been kind of practicing riding with a group and also sprinting out uh, from the group so um so it was it's been kind of a really cool experience for me at least on Zwift to be able to to ride with ride with people um, in different parts of the world um, I don't really talk to them because a lot of times it's not really a kind of a conversational kind of ride it's not uh, as easy as I would like to but it's a great workout so um, we are going to do that today and um, we will kind of take you guys along with us and kind of show you the route. I it's a one hour ride, so um, so yeah, uh, we will be doing that in about an hour and a half, which is twelve noon here. Don't know what time it is for you guys there. Anyway, guys, thank you again um, for those of you who've subscribed and for those of you who've stayed on as subscribers. I appreciate you guys taking the chance to watch these videos. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you like the content. You okay with the fan? Oh yeah, it's good. You could even put it a little bit more on yourself if you want to. Like that? That's that okay? Fine. It's fine. Ooh, why is my... Uh Now, how many people? I think there's like, wow, there's over 3,000 people in right now. So many people are like chatting. 
can just make sure that I'm recording it. Yeah. All right, guys, we are here now um, getting ready to do this like top the tour. We have over we have over 3,700 people and more logging on and joining the ride. Uh, this is stage one of the Lake Top the Tour. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, Lake Top the Tour is the Tour de France for average people like ourselves. <laughs> and it gives us a chance to virtually ride this new Zwift route uh, in France. So we have about a little over three minutes left to go. Before the start. I don't know what it's going to be. And Jason is here joining us. With one arm eye. one arm yeah. rider. I've got a uh broken clavicle in my right shoulder uh, getting surgery on that on Tuesday a few days from now um, so I'm kind of riding mostly with one arm I'm just sort of resting the right arm on the handle just to try to level myself um, but yeah it's, uh, it's a little bit of an awkward position but I rode for a half hour on Thursday and an hour yesterday on Friday. So I'm getting a little bit more used to this. And people are like getting really excited to share where they are. They're even sharing playlists, which actually reminds me I should probably put on my headphones. Not sure yet if I want to do that. Do you have any uh, kind of pacing in mind for this? Like how? I don't know. I is, what do you plan on doing? I'm drinking sparkling water. Oh, uh, so, so so it's a so it's a zone two ride. <laughs> so I'm right? I'm gonna take it as if it's a zone two ride. So we'll see. Um, I yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. We got a little over a minute left. Well, I think what I'd like to do is, yeah, probably make it mostly a zone two ride. I don't really know. I know there's some climbing in this course, but I don't know how long they are. I'd kind of like to, I'm feeling okay by the time we get to the climbing, yeah. to do some sub threshold on the climbing part. Um, but, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Also feels a little weird starting to ride this late in the day. We always yeah. we always start in the morning. And uh All right, less than 30 seconds. I'd like to ride with Joy, but there's like thousands of people in this thing, and I don't know if I'll ever find her. I'm in the front, close to the front. I see you, you're slightly, oh, never mind. 
connection is kind of iffy. So I think once we finish this uh, route, we keep the jersey, which is cool. Oh, okay. Oh, good to know. I'm 2200 right now. <laughs> of 5100. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's just like a swarm of flies here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see where you are. Yeah, and like the avatar, some of the avatars are like zigzagging all over the place. Yeah, and like their jerseys change. Yeah, it's getting anyway. a, it's getting a little glitchy. Oh man. Maybe uh, yeah, that's we're gonna crash this West server. No! Oh yeah. Too many users on at once. I'm not sure if they're running a fence, but I think people are getting glued off. Because I see, like, someone getting ahead, and then they disappear. So it would be interesting to see... Uh, just so you guys know, I'm level 18 on Zwift. I think, are you in the same level? I don't know. I'm not sure. Jason's either 17 or 18. And all the times that we've written uh, Zwift, I can't memorize the, the route. So I was going to say we should like make observations of this route, but well, so far it looks I don't like know how much how closely it resembles uh, the Tour de France route. Since well, so far, it looks like normal Watopia. Yeah, I think this is actually Watopia. Yeah. Maybe it's like the uh, Alp de Zwift where yeah. it like turns into another world at some point. I think Jason and I are in the same group. You must be ahead of me because you're doing like the same watts. As, you're oh. doing like more watts than I am. I should scale back. You don't have to. Just go at whatever pace. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm not 100%, so, I mean, I, I don't want to hold you back. I'm just going to do what I'm capable, what I think I'm capable of. Yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, ride together anyway. Well, we're still experiencing it together. Yeah. Now it's like showing me by myself, oh, there's some other people. Your connection, okay? I think it's okay. I mean, there's a little bit of glitchy stuff happening on the screen, but I don't know if that's. See, like, now I'm riding solo all of a sudden. Huh. That I mean, happened to me. 
the people will come back eventually. Yeah. Jason somehow riding solo here. Must be because I'm in last place. No. Man, there's a ton of people. They're all like bumping into each other. They're easing back now. Oh, here's the climb. Somebody's just said tendons popping off like fireworks. Yeah, I see a bunch of people like up ahead who look like they're climbing and then they disappear. So I don't know if it's just showing like people you're riding with. Yeah, it's probably only showing like who you're near. Yeah, because otherwise maybe this is Zwift's uh, solution to preventing any crashes. I lost my uh, Zwift Companion app. Oh. Oh, I actually didn't have mine. Oh. Well, yeah, mine went down too, but that actually happens to me fairly often. So this is the short, punchy climb. percent grade. hard to have like conversations with people on here there's so many people talking yeah and can't seem to follow the conversation anyway um, just so you all you guys also know is that the pro women race this morning at nine o'clock and I was able to watch it 
it's the screen for some reason looked different from what it looks like right now uh, for some reason they didn't have the map and you guys can see on the top right hand corner where it has the map and the grade and when they did the race they didn't have that so it was kind of hard to follow especially with the grade like they're say they were saying like the commentators were saying you know the they're getting up to the steep bit now but I couldn't tell because the gradient screen wasn't on there it didn't make any sense um, so that was kind of hard to follow um, we also watched the Zwift Pro Tri-Series yesterday uh, with Lionel Sanders yeah he did the help the Zwift in like 35 minutes yeah which we still need to figure out to find out if uh, that's his that was a PR or or not <laughs> somebody wrote Alexa restart my heart rate <laughs> So I'm in my uh, zone two right now, upper zone two. So yeah, anyway, the uh, I really like the race. Uh, the Zwift Pro Tri series because you can actually see how steep the grades were um, because of how the camera was angled. Whereas the one today, they have like an aerial view. So you really couldn't see, you know, the steepness of it. How are you doing so far? All right. Yeah, doing mostly upper zone two. Yeah. I did some threshold on that little climb. I think we're getting close to each other. So, according to the uh, description of this route by Zwift, um, we start off in Watopia, and then ride into, they said, what looks like Nice, France, France, <laughs> which is the original departure location of the Tour de France this year. And then I think we've already passed it, but they said heading into the short punchy section of the 
S's. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. And then across the JWB bridge. There's a reverse KOM that's 1.6 miles long, average grade 1.8%. And then there's a KOM descent, which Jason doesn't like. Uh, 0.6 miles with a super tuck friendly negative 5.5% grade, average grade. And then the lap ends with a 300 meter flat sprint. So I'll be looking for that. This is also going to be about an hour long. And we are almost 18 minutes into the ride with 14.3 miles left to go. I am dropping quite a bit in the standing there, but I don't really want to go any harder. I think Jason and I are close to each other. Yeah, actually, we're really close now. Yeah, there you are. I see you now. So, um, one of the things that I was mentioning before is that it's hard to remember these routes. Um, for me at least, I have a hard time when I do like group rides um, it's really hard for me to remember where the sprints are or where the KOMs are or QOMs. So I guess that's the downside with these virtual rides is that you don't really, uh, you're not really exposed to all the different uh, sen sensory simulation what you're exposed to in real life. And not that you would want something like that all the time. Um, I guess this is a more controlled environment. Really hard to crash or fall off a bike or yeah. get a flat. So that's the... Uh, the upside to doing these kinds of indoor virtual rides. Lionel Sanders is a big fan of it. I'm not sure if Phil Diamond is. I think he rides mostly outdoors. Yeah. I follow him on Strava and he's almost always outside. But that makes sense because he's a climber, and to be really good at climbing, I think you got to climb real hills because yeah. the trainer just doesn't put your body at the same angle. Yeah. So. 
so uh, if anyone is wondering, we are on a bike erg made by Concept2. It's got Bluetooth connectivity, so virtually wireless, really easy to um, move around. You don't have to have a bike attached to it, so you pretty much save your bike from all the wear and tear of trainer. Yeah, that's too bad. I can't connect. Let me go back on. No, it won't let me. Oh, there it is. This is a hilly course. I'm not sure if they have a, a sweeper. So this just reminded me of chamois shaping. Thank you guys. Saw that I was uh, from a couple of videos ago. I uh, was having some trouble with chafing and uh, two of my bib shorts got a tear on them on the right inner thigh not the saddle huh
anyway, the, uh, can not figure out why I switched out my saddle, um, and that seemed to be helping. So I haven't had any yet. And I also switched from using chamois butter to this product called these nuts for women and I like that one a lot better it glides on a lot easier than the chamois butter so I'm gonna get off here get off the saddle And uh, that product seems to be helping a lot more and virtually erase that or remove the uh, shaping problem I was having. How are you doing? Where are you? Oh. You're in a fog. I might be there too. Where are uh, Jason's a bit ahead of me. Only slightly, like 0.1 miles. It's because I... I've been talking. He's been quiet. I've been trying to do this climate, mostly sub threshold. It's a freaking long climb, though. Yeah. Well, Wow, we're 34 minutes in. I'm doing this for the ice cream. <coughs> yeah, I knew I would regret eating mine yesterday, but oh well. So, I guess no power-ups here. Not that I was looking for it, but... Guys, I fell back a little bit. 
because, well, a lot. Because <laughs> of my talking, but I wasn't focused. Are you riding? Okay. Oh, you got to. Uh, you're riding with people again. Why are people riding moo? I've been doing sub threshold whenever it gets over 5% grade. Yeah. And there's times when it dips below that and I'm like, oh, All right. good, I get to rest for a while. And it so, keeps freaking going back up. Oh yeah, Dan, I was gonna test out that super tuck. Oh wow. I'm gonna test it right here. Oh. I sort of did it. Yeah, you can't see it because... I don't think... Yeah. Maybe that one. Yeah. Holy crap. <sighs> I'll just use my arrow. I thought it was downhill. Where's the downhill? Aw, oh, damn it. A waste. I don't want to do sub threshold right now, but I have to. It's over 10% grade. Downhill. How come you get to go downhill? It was a very. Where did you go downhill? It was a very short downhill. Oh. It was like two seconds. Oh. Now it's freaking steep.
Oh my god. Ugh, what the hell is this? Is this for real? Like, is this real life? Does it actually look like this? I don't know. There's a guy stuck in the snow there, and he has like a draft power up. He's not even moving. I have the arrow power up. Like that's, had, like that's really going to help me on the 13% grade. <laughs> I had the arrow power up too, and I used it thinking we were going downhill, because that's what I thought the map was showing, but no. We're still climbing. ones in the snow. So funny. Almost there. Where is it? Can you pass the tower? Huh. Yeah. After the tower it starts to flatten out. Okay. Oh. You turn around and go back down? Is that what you're doing? I hope so, and I'm going to be freaking arrow position. It looks like yeah. Look at the map. Oh my god, my legs. <sighs> Almost there. Ah. <sighs> ah. Uh. going to arrow tuck all the way down. Oh. 
か Look how slow everybody's going. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> That was a long freaking climb. Oh, God. was awful. That was awful. This just tells you how long that climb was. Been going downhill for a while now. Whew. Well, hopefully, I get to ride to the group downhill for the sprint part. Now it's all good. went too early. Oh. No, I got it. Uh. Huh. 14th out of oh, 83. I must, have, I must have missed a sprint. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even I, I didn't even notice the sprint. Uh. 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 Uh.
Ah. Good job, honey. Thanks, honey. Ah. I think I got 16th place. I don't know how many women. I have to look back. On the sprint or overall? On the sprint for women. Yeah. Overall, I think I was, uh, I don't know, 240 something. Now it's fun. Yeah. I like doing rides like these. I went hard at the end. Oh, did you? I went like threshold. Uh, oh, threshold zone five. I see. Like in like when I had like half a mile left. I usually like to graph behind a group, but I'm, I'm kind of far. I'm still a distance. I'm still a ways away from. The, end, the final, the uh, the finish line. I'm gonna cool down for like 15 minutes. Yeah. Push it, push it. Come on. Come on. Ah. Come on. Good job, Ay, honey. Ay, ay.